48 days till Black Ops 3 comes out? No way. Of course you know, because you probably know that I upload a live daily counter every single day until Black Ops 3 releases. So, being that it's 48 days should not come as a surprise to you, but if you are new here, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video because I am counting down the days until Black Ops 3. So, today this video, I'm going to be talking about zombies. And more importantly, everything I know about zombies. So let's get off the important information first. So in order to get the Reese or the giant map from World of War and Black Ops, you're going to need to pre-order the game. Now, you can, and it's not just a pre-order, you have to pre-order the Hardened Edition, or if you're lucky enough to get the Juggernaut Edition, you go ahead and pre-order that because... It's, it's not going to be there. I can almost guarantee you, you're going to walk into GameStop and say, can I have the Juggernaut Edition? And they're probably going to laugh at you because everyone knows it sold out in the first day. But the Hardened Edition is abundant and you can get it anytime you want. So that's the way that you get the giant zombie map, which looks pretty good. It, you know, it's it's basically, let me throw this information out there. It is the Reese except before the Reese. So it's not broken down. It's not, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to work. I'm pretty sure, you know, the map's not going to have all those broken spots. Although, whenever, it was just kind of like a strategy that I would always do before I actually knew the real strategy. And if you can remember, you know, whenever you teleport back to the, uh, the home pad, a perk will spawn or nothing will spawn or a dog will spawn down in that one little spot right in front of where you spawn well one person would always run right there loop around the first area and right behind them is this place that zombies can crawl over to get to you and I would always take my Mustang and Sally's and shoot them over that fence and kill their entire horde that's just something I remember and I guess now I'm not gonna be able to do that so next in the main in the main zombies map that's gonna be coming with it is I think it's called um oh my god I know it it's like shadows of evil that's it shadows of evil is going to have a new perk system and it's not really perk system it's called gumball machines now this is something that they're trying to implement to keep the game fresh to keep it something new because zombies kind of if you look at it, there's not much they can do except change the storyline. I mean, zombies are going to be zombies, and if they change it too much, then it's not going to be zombies. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of old-fashioned where I like zombies the way they had it, and if it's not broken, don't fix it. Just give me some new maps and be gone. But they're going to be coming back with these gumballs. And now these gumballs have many different uses and a lot of them are really, really good. Although I'm not quite sure how we get them yet. I don't know if you buy them and it's by chance or if you buy which gumball you want because some of these are very overpowered. Like spawn a max ammo, spawn a nuke. All these things could be like the difference between you failing and the difference between you continuing and getting a higher round. I don't know, like, if you can get max ammo back to back to back to back to back, or if it's just completely random, and like the mystery box, it's going to take a couple of hits before you get something good. Next, let's talk about the fourth, third, third, yeah, the third map that's going to be released with Black Ops 3. Now, this is just speculation, but I know, like, as soon as I uploaded this video, uh, uploaded the video of the forest, um, a lot of people told me that, oh, someone already else beat you to it. So I was, I guess, the second person, but I had no idea that someone else uploaded it. And I'm pretty sure we uploaded it, like, within a few hours from each other. So, I mean, there's definitely time that people could challenge me and say that you copied the idea, but I know that I did not. It was pretty much my idea from the start. So, it's a forest map, and... Several things have been leaked, I'm pretty sure I'm correct, and if you want to, you can go back and watch my video of the forest, the zombies, because I'm pretty sure I'm correct. And I would like to be correct, because if you can remember in Black Ops 2, at the end of, let's see, what is the DLC pack? I cannot rem remember the name. Oh, it's the, uh, it's the one where it's like a hotel that was upside down, or this big office building upside down in zombies. Diarize, that's it, Diarize. Um... At the end of the video, you are, are at the end of the game, you heard like this big loud sound and a shut, and everyone thought that was going to be like the giant, because 
for some reason we had like even back then we knew something about the giant like and it's kind of funny that a new map is going to be called the giant it kind of just clicked but actually before mob of the dead was released which is the map right after that i came to the conclusion i'm like that kind of sounds like a gel cell that like it sounds like a gel door just being slammed closed and I was correct, except I didn't have that big of a following, so not that many people knew. And my friends that didn't know, they're like, oh my god, you! I wish everyone would have known this because I was on to something. I'm usually good about these hunches, especially towards zombies, because I understand how they're thinking. Um, I've made... Okay, that has nothing to do with it, but still, I understand what they're thinking about. And I understand, like, where they want the story to go, and everything else is just a surprise. So... The next information that I have about zombies is that we're going to be able to turn into a zombie. And there's also going to be zombie bosses. Now, they did say that there's going to be this ranking up system that is different from Black Ops 2. And if you can remember in Black Ops 2, it doesn't matter what you did. You kind of did not or you did level up. It was kind of like... I've had, I mean, I've played multiple 60 pluses, multiple 70s, and a few 80s and a few 90s, but overall, I stayed at a zombie with a knife behind his head because I have no idea why. I, I feel like I should have been shotguns at that point. I have so many kills in zombies, and it's also accompanied with a lot of downs. Now, not too many downs, but enough downs that I understand that that's probably why I did not get shotguns. In fact, I did get shotguns for one game. I had them one game I had shotguns, and then after that game I lost them and never regained them back, and never really cared about going for it because if you go for high rounds, we all know you should be playing on offline status. Next, like I was saying, the zombie boss. What What is this? So, I'm thinking that the zombie boss is going to be like um like a mon I wouldn't say a multiplayer but like a storyline like I'm thinking the forest is going to be a storyline it's not really going to be a map it's just something that they can take zombies and kind of make a campaign out of it like a four player campaign and it's going to be in there and I guess it's also going to be in shadows of evil I'm like I'm not sure I'm completely on the fence about this you know it's either shadows of evil is going to be the campaign and I'm like doing the little quotes with my fingers the campaign of zombies or this forest map is going to be the campaign of zombies or they're not going to have a campaign they're going to have two maps and there's going to be bosses now I don't really like bosses if you can remember the last map pack for advanced warfare the zombies mode had this boss and it was not like any of uh, the other bosses that we've been faced with in advanced warfare like the one guy that had like the big hammer thing and he could electrocute you or stun you or whatever and it pretty much just kind of played along but this kind of seems like and especially in the last map i hated it because of uh oz i think his name is you kind of got sent to that room and it was like uh just it was stupid honestly like i like zombies just progress through rounds I like dog rounds I like crawl rounds anything like those rounds are breaks because the normal round you're constantly moving and it just kinda you you get in your way it just gets in your way whenever you have to fight against the boss so I'm not really looking forward to that in zombies but that's pretty much other than you know the very 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 basic knowledge that's kinda like the upscale knowledge of zombies what I know at this point and if I get any new information I you just believe that you guys will be the first to know because I'm always, and I hate to say this, but I'm always in front of a computer. I mean, I'm going to school right now to become a um, an IT technician or whatever you want to call it. Just it's stuff with computers. Like I'm literally around multiple monitors daily. I'm always on my YouTube. I'm always on social media. And if any of that, if you want to follow me on Twitter, make sure you check the description below. And you can just tweet me out questions anytime you have a question. If you want to play, that's where it kind of gets a little cumbersome because I don't really play like you think I do all the time. I you know if I'm playing, it's either I'm playing competitive or I'm kind of just on my computer making videos for you guys. And I have over 300 gigabytes of Black Ops 3 gameplay. And that's what's really just fueling this channel right now. It's just, I always am going to have a video. And the only thing I need to do is commentary. So hopefully, 
you guys enjoyed this video. I know I love zombies. I love multiplayer. Campaign in Black Ops 3 really, really, really looks good. So 48 days until we get to just know all of this information, until we get to play it, until we get to feel it. I cannot wait. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you haven't already. Make sure you check out the community section. If you want to join the community, let me know in the comment section. So the community is basically just a shout out program. And I can do commentaries over your gameplays, over your videos, whatever you want to do. So let me know in the comment section. Check out my actual main page to see all of the people in the community. Hope to see you next time. Peace. Whoa!